Hey everyone, Mike Murley here. Um, made a, a, I made three solar panels that fit into three different sections of my sliding glass door here at the house. And um, if you take a look, I've got three different designs here. Uh, one of them has a louver that would be used under vents, uh, a soffit vent on a house for attic uh, circulation. Another I uh, pretty much just uh, punched out with a paper punch, an extended reach paper punch. It would have um, it would have a, a two inch reach with a quarter inch punch on the holes and then on the other I actually used a drill with a one eighth inch bit and just drilled out a bunch of holes there and as you can see on each one of these uh, the amount of air coming out of them is, uh, is pretty substantial and there's no fan the way this works is completely by um, the convection of the heat inside the rear chamber there's two chambers in, in these uh, solar panels each panel only weighs about four pounds. Uh, you can make them for about uh, $30. Now, of course, your, your initial investment is going to be a little more than that because the materials comes in rolls, uh, and you'll have to make uh, more than one. Uh, but when it comes down to it, these, these panels are right around $30 or even less, depending on where you buy your materials. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to use what's called an infrared thermometer uh, that you can see here. It's got a digital readout on the back, and if you watch, when I take a measurement of the back of this panel, the back of the panel is only 97 degrees, as you can see there, 97 degrees. So you don't have to worry about somebody coming in and touching the panel and getting burnt on it because it just doesn't get that hot. It's, uh, it's about like a very warm water coming, uh, the temperature water of the water coming out of your faucet. Um, of course, it can get much heater, hotter. Uh, anyway. The other uh, thing I want to show you is as I pull this panel off to, take, to get a reading on the actual panel itself, you'll see, and I will too here in a second, i hook it back up. Actually, these things are held up by suction cups on the window. Um, oops, timed out on me. Uh, let's try this one more time. And we got 143 degrees right there. You can see 143 degrees on the actual film. And the film, what the film is, is a black foil that's used in theater uh, and a lot of uh, television studios. It's a black foil to be able to uh, uh, control the lighting that's coming off of uh, off of studio lighting. It, it's it's fireproof. Um, the whole unit is made out of. Uh, materials that uh, are not flammable. Um, the the, uh, the uh, framing is, is just uh, framing that you would use for a regular screen window to put screens in. Uh, it's sandwiched together with the, uh, with the film on the inside, the inside of the sandwich, and then the external part, or the, uh, the, the uh, clear part, is just a, um, a clear plastic film that you put over your windows and use a hair dryer to shrink down to make it nice and tight and, and, and to look really nice. Uh, you'll see in the photographs uh, beyond this video on how to actually make this solar panel yourself. Um, you can make it with only a, a very strong pair, heavy duty pair of scissors or tin snips. Uh, if you do, you're going to need um, you're going to need a pair of uh, needle nose pliers to straighten out the uh, straighten out the cuts. Uh, but it's no big deal. Uh, you just cut your pieces to length, uh, put the corners on, tape, tape, you're just taping. It's, it's metal tape, it's aluminum metal tape, and the tape is rated at 240 degrees. Uh, we're, we have a, a partially cloudy day today, meaning that the skies are not blue. Uh, they're, they've got a lot of white in them. Uh, it, it's kind of an overcast, but it's a, it, it's a sunny overcast. Um, I have measured the inside of these panels to go to 165 degrees. That's about the most that we get out of them. But as you can see, the, um, the uh, uh, tissues that I have on the top of these panels, as the air goes into the bottom, the cooler air goes into the bottom and travels through the panel, it heats up as it reaches the top, and then it comes out the top. And it's almost like it's got a blower in it, but it does not have a blower. Now, the other thing that uh, I have, as you can see here, the, the air goes up. Uh, as I close these curtains, one of the other nice thing, things is you can actually leave the curtains open to allow more air 
uh, heated air to circulate through. But as the, the, the uh, three panels heat up behind this curtain, they go up above the curtain, across the ceiling, and then you'll see the ceiling fan here. It's set on winter, and what it does is it pulls all that hot air from the ceiling and pushes it down to room level. Um, the other thing that I've done to this house is uh, I've turned off the uh, heating vents from the furnace inside the house um, to, allow, to make sure that if the furnace did come on, no heat comes into this room. Uh, however, so far today, the, the heat has not come on on the furnace. And the other thing that I did was I actually went to the furnace. You've got a setting for automatic and, and uh, fan. And you can actually turn the fan on uh, continuously. And what that does is it will circulate the air throughout your whole house all the time. Um, and if you close off the room that's got the solar panels in it, as this room heats up to the temperature of whatever these panels are putting out, and the cold air return pulls that air through your uh, furnace, it dis distributes it out throughout the whole house. And for about 30, well actually you'll spend about probably 50 or $60 to get all of the materials, but since you've got all the materials, you might as well make these uh, panels to fit each south facing window uh, in your house. You can custom make them to fit just uh, the upper pane, and then you can cut, cut out and build another one to fit, fit the lower pane. If you've got any questions, feel free to give me a, uh, shoot me an email uh, or respond. If this is on one of the blogs, please do that. And um, I hope that you uh, got something out of this. I know I did. I'm pretty sure my heating bills are going to be a lot cheaper next month. Until the next one, uh, this is Mike Murley with the Savvy Tech, part of the United Assemblers Network. Uh, thanks for watching.